Hello YouTube and welcome to our 102nd Unity 3D tutorial. So this should be a really really quick 5-10 minute tutorial. What we're going to do is do something what nearly every first person game needs and that's um, a mouse look script. So when you move the mouse to the left or horizontal the mouse will move with it, the camera will move or the object. But when you look up and down it will look up and down. So you really need to make it well, we really need this script. So the original script I had was nearly 28 lines long, 30 lines long. Then I looked at it and thought, well, we've got bits of it what were useless. So I edited it myself, put my own features in. It's now down to 13 lines, including spaces, functions, and pragma strict. So really, really simple. So what we're going to do in our player for the script folder, we're going to create a new JavaScript and we'll call it uh, mouse looking in fact mouse look there we go and we'll attach this to our character here because we want the character to move if your main character is your camera still attach it there we go we've got mouse look so we'll open this up so I've zoomed in as well so you can hopefully see it better if something's still wrong switch to high quality you'll be able to definitely see it then so first thing we need to do is we need to somehow store our rotation from where it is so every time we change the rotation we need it to store it to a variable and not instantly apply it to our character because then we otherwise we in, we're calling the transform variable every single time you don't want to so what we're going to do is create two variables to store our x rotation which is that way so left and right and then our y rotation up and down so we're going to open our script and we'll type var x rotation rotation yeah and this will be a float because if you looked at it when I rotated it it's not 17 it's 17.9 and integers can't stand could don't like decimals so you have to use float so float means decimals we've covered that before and we're just going to set it to 0, 0.0 and we'll do the same for our y-axis you don't need a z-axis on this because to edit the z-axis if you go to the right or the left then the z-axis is this one and you don't want your camera rotating unless you do but we'll set that to something else um, eventually but not now so we've stored our two things there so we're going to set the x rotation to plus equals and I'll explain why the plus equals and the minus equals is needed later you'll really understand it instantly so we're going to type input dot get axis mouse x so what that line will do is set x rotation to plus whatever input that mouse x is get axis so our axis if you go to edit project settings input you have mouse x here and mouse y here and every time it runs it, it'll search for mouse x, so get axis, it is this one here. And then the axis of it is the x axis, so horizontally. And the type is mouse, move, mouse movement. So every time you move your mouse, it'll record it and then stick it in our script. Really simple. So now, if you've ever used, well, if you've ever gone into the options of pretty much any first person game, you've always had a sensitivity option. So you can change. Um, how fast and slow you rotate. Some people like it really really high, some people like it low. So if you can see, I'll move my mouse in circles, but I, if I press my minus button, you'll see it goes slower, but then if I press my fast button, it goes super fast. So it's a lot faster than that. So you can, my mouse has got an option on it to change it. You can change it in your Windows or Mac or Linux options. So we're going to times it by then we need a sensitivity. However, most people like changing it, so we can't just put 5.0 because people like to change their sensitivity. So, I've spread my mouse around, it won't go back down. There we go. So, we're going to create a variable to store the x and y sensitivity. It just makes user friendly. So, I'll put var x sensitivity. I think that's spot right. Sensi yeah. And then we're going to put float equals 5.0. The reason it's 5.0 is so you can really fine tune it. So if 5 is too slow for you, but 6 is too fast for you, then you want 6.5, don't you? Makes sense. So we're going to change our Y sensitivity 5. So we'll keep them both the same for now. 
and eventually in our options screen we'll add the ability so you can change it. And while we're on the subject it brings me to the plus equals and when we do the Y rotation which we'll just quickly do now Y and mouse Y so what that this one needs to be minus and what these do is we'll eventually allow the user to change it is if it's plus if you move your mouse to the left the camera will rotate to the left but if you move it to the right the camera will rotate to the right however if I were to set this to minus X if you move your camera to the left it'll move your cam your mouse to the left it'll move the camera to the right so in the opposite direction um, this is more common on the Matt Wild script. So if you have plus and you look push your mouse up, it looks down. And if you pull it back, it looks up. Some people like it like that, I personally don't. So if you do it minus, you pull your mouse back, it'll look up. You push your mouse that up, it'll look down. It's just inverting your settings. So we're gonna copy X sensitivity and paste it in here and Y sensitivity. Boom. Great, so we've got the two things that will record our X and Y rotation to that. So if we were to just quickly try that, and if you watch the place where we've not assigned it, even though I swear we assigned it. So, mouse look. So if we look, X rotation, Y rotation, not touching it, I move my mouse, it'll move and record it. However, small glitch, it's not actually recording what we're doing yet. So we need to apply it to our character. We've done this before, we're going to type transform or this dot transform dot local enular I can't I can never remember this eula angles that's it equals vector three and then we want our rotation y rotation x and then zero. The reason XYZ doesn't count in this is because for our Y rotation it's if you actually play it I'll explain that line in a minute it's not it doesn't like what we've done yeah it doesn't like the times so if I sh show you a minute if I rotate to the left without trying to touch the Y axis you'll see it rotates the X axis but the Y is remaining still so the X rotation in our inspector is really really close to the Y it just inverts it for some reason I'm not 100% sure but make sure you put it like that else it won't work now the reason we're using local annular angles instead of normal angles is because normal applies it to whatever object it's attached to so if we were to put in a child it would apply it just to the child and not the parent local annular angles are attaches it to the parent as well so it changes everything and the reason we're doing it is one because it throws an error and two is because when the ship looks around it's not just a camera what moves the ship we want to follow it so like if you were an FPS game and movie camera and your character just kept running forwards it's not look very good so that's the reason we've done it really 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 simple script we can improve on that saying mouse move if it equals true you can move so we can now move around but there's only one glitch there's no limit so we can actually rotate full round 360 but we can now using our movement script we can now go around the planet and go all the way over here stop and turn around and as you can see we're lost <laughs> so we do need a map there we go ah found it yeah so You've got a mouse look script, it's really really good for an FPS game. Um, all you do if you want to attach guns is drag it into your camera and align it up to it. We'll do that next tutorial, like we'll add a gun or something or something like that. So really really simple mouse look script. It is that. Thank you for watching, I really hope you liked it. Sorry I was a little bit vague on the angles bit, I still can't pronounce that, but it's annoying. But thank you for watching, join my Facebook group and see you next time.